News right now. A jury has just announced a verdict in the trial of uh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the armorer in the set on the set of the ill-fated uh, Alec Baldwin film Rust. Let's bring in CNN's Josh Campbell and defense attorney Misty Maris. So, Josh, what did the jury decide? Well, if this verdict came very quickly, the jury deliberating for only about two and a half hours today after closing arguments, ultimately rendering a verdict just moments ago. Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who was the armorer on the set of the movie when cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed, is now guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Now, she was originally charged by prosecutors with a second charge of tampering with evidence. This jury deciding that she was not guilty of tampering with evidence. But again, the uh, breaking news here, the armorer has been charged with involuntary manslaughter. Uh, she faces up to 18 months in prison once she is eventually sentenced, as well as a $5,000 fine. Hannah Gutierrez Reed uh, not expressing any outward sign of, uh, of emotion as this was being read in court. Uh, she was led away by Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputies just a short time ago, remanded into the custody of the state. Uh, now, this trial had gone on for about 10 days, uh, the jury hearing from 37 different witnesses. Uh, neither the prosecutor nor the defense uh, had any qualms with the fact that negligence was at play. In fact, both sides agreed that there was negligence. They disagree, disagreed about who was to blame. Prosecutors saying that Hannah Gutierrez Reed as the person who was responsible for firearm safety, they determined that she was the single sole person who had the authority uh, to ensure that this was a safe set, that uh, she was negligent in her duties. Her defense attorney, uh, of course, she had uh, pleaded not guilty. Her defense attorney indicated that it was actually the production company of this movie, as well as Alec Baldwin himself, who was actually to blame. But the jury, after deliberating again for only two and a half hours and rendering this verdict, uh, the armor on the set of that movie, now guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Wolf. A very fast verdict indeed. Misty, what do you make of this verdict? And let me repeat, the rust armorer found guilty for involuntary manslaughter, but acquitted on charges of evidence tampering. Yeah, this really makes sense, especially given the jury instruction. So lawyers will tell you, opening arguments, really important. Closing arguments, very important. Jury instructions may be the most critical. So the jury instruction said that the jury could find her guilty if they found that she either, A, did not or accidentally loaded the real bullets into the gun instead of the dummy bullets, or that she failed to adequately check those bullets, failed to adequately inspect uh, those bullets. And so under the circumstances, not surprised to see the jury come back with a guilty because clearly had she inspected the bullets, they would not have been in the gun. They would have been removed. Now on the tampering charge, that relates to her handing a baggie of white powder to someone on set during the investigation. However, that powder was never tested. So the defense said it's impossible to prove whether or not that was drugs as the prosecutors had alleged. So given all of the circumstances of this case and given those jury instructions, to me, Wolf, the critical factor, the bullets were not inspected prior to handing that gun over to Alec Baldwin and the rest of it really wasn't relevant. Let, let me follow up with you, Misty. Alec Baldwin's trial is now set for July 9th. What does this mean, verdict today, for his case? So this verdict is very positive for his, ca this, his case. This means that somebody has been held legally, criminally culpable for the death of Helena Hutchins. He's going to say that in his particular case, it's not foreseeable. Foreseeability is the critical uh, element here. It wasn't foreseeable that the armorer, the person who is responsible for the safety, maintenance, and care of the firearm and the ammunition, it was not foreseeable that there would be a real bullet in that gun. And Wolf, his defense team had been in the courtroom, and today during closing arguments, the prosecutors made a statement during their rebuttal argument where they said, it's expected that the actor is going to go off book. It's expected that the actor might mishandle a firearm. That's all for the purposes of convicting Hannah Gutierrez Reed, but they had a fine line to toe. And I think some of those statements during closing arguments will be very, very difficult to overcome for the prosecution during the trial of Alec Baldwin. So very, very relevant to his case moving yeah, forward. Indeed, uh, very interesting indeed. Missy Maris, Josh Campbell, to both of you, thank you very much.